Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back in the town. Now I told you guys I was going to do another town episode for this weekend because I felt pretty bad about the way the uh, week began with not really getting anything built and I was waiting on the new engine and uh, obviously it's still in testing right now so I didn't get the results that I wanted. Uh, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to sit down and build some more of the to the farm. Now, if you want to check out the last farm episode, it was yesterday, I'll link it in the description. Uh, we did some equipment here, you can see the combine harvester, the big silos in the background, and the tractor over here. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. Now today, I've got quite a bit here. Now I've got this new tractor, and I've got an attachment on the back of it, I'll show you guys how that works here in a minute. I've got that, I've got the barn, which I saw this... Uh, some people mentioned this, was like, well, you don't have a barn at your farm yet. And I was like, yeah, that does kind of make sense. So I went ahead and did this. I was going to do like a, a store in the town for the farm, but I'm going to wait on doing that. I, I figured let's go ahead and get the barn out of the way. So I've got that done. I've got a little storage area here and I've got a crop duster. Uh, this was actually requested a couple times and I actually took an existing design and modified it because I was thinking like, all right, a crop duster. Uh, every picture that I look at for a crop duster, it's like two designs. You've either got this like biplane design or you've got like a single wing that looks pretty similar to this. So we've got all that to show you guys today. Now you're probably wondering what this building over here is. And this is a work in progress. This is a basically a placeholder. I want to have a farmhouse out here. So I was like, where are we going to stick? And I was like, right, let's just go across from the barn. So I've got it here, I've built the foundation, I was like, you know, let's just put some wood up and make it look like it's being constructed right now. So that's like the frame of a house. But anyways, hmm, what I want to show you guys first, there's a lot here. Let's go ahead, we're going to go into the barn real quick. Here's the main doors here, at least the big ones. So say if you have uh, either animals or equipment that you need to roll up, you can uh, go right through here. And here is the inside of the barn. Now this barn was kind of a pain in the butt to build. It's these uh, slanted roof pieces and you can see they are on uh, control. Actually, those are loose. I forgot. I I, um, I had them on controllers and I welded them together and then I uh, dropped them off and that way they would rest naturally on the roof. Uh, this is always a better solution than trying to do all those slanted pieces and just try to build a roof that way. That is just a pain in the butt, but this can be uh, kind of tricky to hang the first time. But yeah, you've got that. You've got all the uh, the wood pieces up here, the supports. Uh, you've got a little bit of storage over here, a little work table. Now, say if you have uh, cows or horses, uh, something that needs to be stored up for the night, you can uh, go into here. And I've got two places for those. So you can put them in here. I, I kind of want to figure out how to do an animal and scrap mechanic. And I don't know if it's quite possible. I thought, well, it'd be cool to be able to make one, but I don't know like what it would do besides just sit there. I'd like to make something that actually moved around, but not 100% sure there, but that's what those are. You got a little place you can stick water and food. Uh, yes, you do see the little duck up there. Kind of hide those around in some of my episodes. So you've got that uh, up here. Normally this is like a storage area and unfortunately, you know, we cannot climb the ladder. So we'll have to use the lift to actually check this out. Let's go up here. Here's your storage up here. Uh, this door over here does work. So you can hit that. Kind of get a uh, little better view of the farm here. Let's see. So to hop down, you would just, of course, just hop off. I, I might put that ladder at an angle. Uh, there is a certain, like, angle you can put these at, uh, but I'm not quite sure. I I've done it in a couple things, so we might do that. I was a little afraid that I was going to interfere with the side door here, so I don't know. I'm still debating on that. So you've got that, there's a little side entrance here. And now this would be, say we're transferring a uh, livestock or something into the barn. That's what this area is here. Uh, we'll go out here in a second. Uh, over here, you've got a little table, sink. Uh, I've got some things uh, in here. Now I've got another storage area. I'll go over that here in a second, but uh, I've just got some things moved around. It's just really some clutter. But yeah, you've got plenty of area in here, so say if you need to move a small tractor or even I think the UTV fits in here too. You can set it off in the corner or something. Anyways, we'll walk out here. Now, say, I don't know, we've got a sick cow, pregnant cow. Uh, we can come over here, which I do want to make like an old truck with a trailer that hauls around animals. 
So say we would open this up, uh, you'd back the truck up and the trailer, you'd open the gate up so it kind of blocks the, uh, the, or any way for the animal to get out. So the animal would come into here and it can stay in this area and it can come up into the barn and if you need to lock it away. So that was my thought. Uh, I connected the fence. I think I've almost finished the fence completely around the farm. I think I lacked that backside over towards the tank out there. But other than that, it's actually in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead we're going to close this. And we can close this one up real quick. But yeah, I really want a truck and trailer now. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the barn. I actually think it came out pretty good. I was almost tempted to make it even bigger, but I decided against it. I was like, all right. I need to kind of slow down on trying to make things too big for the farm because it's going to wind up taking too many episodes to get it all done. Anyways, that's the barn. Uh, I will try to have that on the workshop. As you can see, it is elevated off the ground, so I just have to cut it out and put it on a lift. Uh, I might have to cut the fence off. I don't think that's going to go with it, but the whole barn should be up. So we've got that. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to cover, we'll cover the crop duster last because I'm going to do, or I'm going to attempt to fly around. I noticed there's a lot of trees by my fields. So that's going to be a bit tricky to do, but we'll take that out here in a second. Uh, here is the storage area I was talking about. Now this is, I kind of got this idea from a uh, farming sim. Uh, they have a little storage area, say your deliveries come for new seeds, uh, fertilizer, whatever else would come in. Maybe even somebody's going to drop off equipment. Uh, they would unload it here. So this is like a little covered awning. Now I need another awning for like the actual tractors and stuff. I'm not really sure where I want to stick it, like maybe, well it really can't go over here because you've got the field. Uh, maybe to the left side of the house or maybe on the back side over there I, I might have some flat areas. But yeah, that's a, that came out pretty good, so you've got that. Now let's go over here and check out this tractor. Of course this is the big tractor from yesterday's episode. Uh, it's made for really doing heavy duty stuff. I've got a big trailer that goes with it that you can load up grain and drop it off in the silos. But I decided, you know what, I need a smaller one. So this is the one I came up with. Of course, we're still using the John Deere colors. Uh, this has got a front end loader on it. You can see the uh, counterweight. At first, I didn't have the loader. and I just had this little weight on the front because the back end was a, little, a bit heavy. So you've got that. You can see the motor. Spider web, not too bad. You've got all that. Now, this attachment on the back, this is like a, I think this is a cultivator. We're going to drag through the, uh, through the field, say, when we're trying to reset them. I need to come up with some more attachments, but this is the only one I have right here. Uh, that's actually not attached. And surprisingly, if you watched yesterday's episode, you saw how much lag I got when I pulled that trailer around with the tractor. This doesn't lag at all, which is really surprising. So say we're going to hop up here on the tractor. Uh, let me go ahead and just drop it real quick. So we're going to hit the three and... Oh, that kind of flipped it off a bit. So we've, we've dropped the, uh, the equipment there. Now I'm going to go ahead and drive around. Now this thing works fine it's a a bit heavy i was tempted to put a suspension glitch on the tractor itself but i decided against it because i was like i don't know uh, on smaller things sometimes the suspension glitch can be a bit much and it would almost act like it'd want to tip over or something so i decided against that now the front end loader it does move up yeah you can drop the bucket here it's all on controllers and i've got the button so as soon as you click it and release it it drops automatically so that works pretty good so you've got that. Uh, you can walk around uh, or drive around in it fairly decent. Uh, it handles good. I think it might, you know, I'd probably have to, to get up on that field, and I've talked about it a little bit yesterday, that field is so steep, I'd probably have to uh, lift the bucket up to get up on it. So I've got that. Let's back over there to the equipment real quick, and I'll show you guys how to load that up. Uh, this will also be on the workshop. I've gotten to where I can get my stuff on the workshop. I have to do it really odd. Uh, I've got a friend, Mr. Non-Newtonian, which, by the way, he's helped me with uh, some of the stuff on the farm here. He did a little bit on this tractor. Uh, we had a different uh, crop duster going, but that thing is a work in progress, and we'll have to... Uh, I'll try to show you that you guys that version of it later. It's uh, It had some issues. Anyways, I'm going to back up here, and i got to line this up. i got to be careful about what I do here. Come on, buddy. Nope, nope. All right, here we go. I think I got it lined up this time, so we're going to slide that in. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to close the hitch or the attachment here. So let's close it with the three key. There we go. It's locked in. Now, you're in the mode where you would be dragging across a field, but say you're just moving around. You're going to click the four key, and it lifts it like that. That actually looks really cool. 
and it looks pretty legit so uh, you can drive around with this it handles just fine uh, it does wobble a bit but once you lay it on the ground it's got those little uh, slanted pieces it'll stabilize itself and it'll drag so I don't think I'm gonna try to drag it on that field I'm just gonna drag it over here so we would hit the four key so now technically say the the field would be a little up from this so you'd be dragging through it so you can just start driving and it drags along and surprisingly the game handles it fine I was really afraid that it was gonna end up like the trailer and it was just gonna be so laggy and it's really odd because in fact we're dragging something against the ground and it's bouncing around a lot in the hitch but nope the game has handled it like a charm so I'm actually really proud of it <laughs> anyways yeah you would drag that around uh, I do want to come up with some more attachments I just had to figure out the system that I wanted to use and I'm fairly happy with the system so if you guys have any uh, ideas for different attachments you'd like to see uh, comment below like I said you guys were fantastic yesterday's episode about commenting with some really good stuff uh, like a windmill I know that's coming uh, some stuff about the uh, lumber over there so I've got a lot of things planned but anyways let's go ahead I think we're gonna check out the crop duster real quick alright here is the crop duster now you might notice this plane this is the biplane from oh it's been a while it was probably I think my third airport episode or the final I had this biplane and I was like alright well it looks cool but it really has no use and people were actually uh, they were suggesting on that episode it should be a crop duster I was like well I don't have a farm yet but now we do so I've completely repainted it uh, I don't know if it's standard for crop dusters to be yellow but almost all the pictures I saw the crop duster was yellow and it either had black stripes or blue stripes I'm assuming that's it's just an actual standard thing I've even seen the crop dusters around where I live I've seen them going and they are yellow so I was like okay we're gonna go with that so we've got that I've modified some sprayers here on the back on each side uh, surprisingly it didn't throw the weight off at all uh, sometimes you have to be careful these uh these pipe pieces what you would figure would be kind of heavy they're actually lightweight in the game so that's really helped so I've got that I've modified a couple things to make it fly a bit different uh, it's still not the fastest airplane you have to kind of be tilted down for it to speed up the way you want it to I've done that and then the last thing I did I couldn't really come up with a good looking canopy so I used the pipe pieces to make a little surrounding area I want to put glass on it but uh, the glass looks kind of silly if you ask me that's that's what the glass looks like and it's just like eh, I don't know it doesn't seem to really fit but uh, one thing I want to do with uh, the area here I want to try to find a place to make a runway for this I don't want to have to take off at the airport each time uh, I think the farm should have like a dirt runway uh, maybe behind the field or something but anyways, I think it is time to hop into this bad boy and try to, uh, well, we're going to do some air quotes here, spray the fields. So let's do that. Okay, I think I can load up, I'm going to do it right here. I think I have enough space to take off. I'm not sure where I want this runway to be. But anyways, we're going to do the one, two, and three keys here. And here we go. Got a lift off. Uh, I have the four and five keys are the pitching uh, back and forth. And... The next couple keys actually pitch it up and down, and uh, this actually is looking pretty cool here. I love the way this farm looks. The uh, the land around it actually looks pretty good here. And what what what? Come on. Okay, correct it. Uh, the plane tends to slow down like this uh, when you have the nose like really far up in the air, but uh, as soon as you kind of dip it down, it works pretty good. So, hmm, which field do I want to try to uh, spray first? This is going to be a challenge. There's a lot of trees in the way, so. We're going to edge around here. Now I'm going to slow myself down and then as soon as we start coming down here, it's going to pick up some speed. So, oh, I hope I can, uh, can I, okay, yeah, we're good. I got nervous there. I was looking at those trees. So we're going to swing around here and let's see if I can do this without stalling the plane completely out. I think I can. It's really hard. I would love to have a chase camera in the game. Like they need, a, they need like a camera block that you can stick on vehicles and lock down that camera angle. But uh, anyways, uh, here we go. Okay, let's see. I think I can slip through those two trees up there. So we're going to come down. We've got the two fields. I need to actually make some fields because uh, these are going to be really hard to hit. So you would swoop in, probably not quite at this angle. Uh, of course, we don't have any way of actually dumping uh, or fertil not fertilizing, uh, actually spraying any of this. But uh, 
that would be pretty close to the angle that you would have to do it. Uh, of course, I don't think you could hire anybody to fly in this area. You'd probably have to do it yourself. But anyways, let's swing around here. This plane actually handles pretty good. Uh, I'm fairly proud. Of course, this is the way Moombo makes his planes fly. Uh, they fly, to me, they remind me of kind of helicopters. Uh, there is no aerodynamic model in Scrap Mechanic. Of course, it does help when the weight shifts. So when I tip down a little bit here, I'll, I'll pick up some speed. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and try to get over here. I've got to hit that one field. I don't know. I might be able to do it from this angle. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it. I'm going to swing around here one more time. And then we'll come in. And uh, as far as landing, I don't know what's going to happen there. I have no clue. Uh, this thing takes off real easy, but landing, uh, if you want to make it look natural, it's a its a real challenge. So, anyways, let's go up here. We're going to lose a little bit of speed. I'm going to try to dip down as soon as I know I'm clear of the trees. There we go. All right, here we go. Picking up some speed. Picking up some speed. Got to focus here. There's some trees. There's the campground. <laughs> All right, we almost crashed there. I, had a, I got really low to the ground, and I just stopped talking. I was trying to uh, correct it. Uh, we barely clipped it, though. We're good now. So we're going to come in here, we're going to spray this field, and I am at a very terrible angle for these trees. Come on, can I slide through? Nope, I'm going to crash. Well guys, uh, you get the point of what's happening here. Uh, I had an epic crash. Of course, some of you guys are probably better pilots than me, but let's go reset this thing. Well folks, once again I've proved that I'm not really that great at flying. Uh, I do still want to do a small runway somewhere, but... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the aircraft there. I'm going to put this one up, or I'm going to put everything up on the workshop. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, guys, uh, thanks for all the support uh, recently. It's been awesome commenting on the videos, uh, liking the videos. Uh, it's been really cool. Now, I do want to uh, return back to another one of my worlds uh, very soon, probably the Apocalypse World. Some people have been asking about the moon base, and I I'm kind of torn on that. Uh, comment below if you do want to see that. I, I don't know, the support on the moon base, it was good at first and it kind of slipped away. It's like people didn't really want to see it that much. Uh, there is still select few that do want to see it, of course. But anyways, guys, comment below with suggestions for the town, uh, for anything, really. And I also want to thank uh, Non-Newtonian for helping me out here today. I'll link his workshop in the description also. Anyways, guys, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.